wane wafe wane Uganda ena wero mu kitundu kyetulimu omusujja malaria uyitibwa omusujja gwensiri malaria is still a big global problem in 2016 alone over 400,000 people were reported dead due to malaria the biggest proportion of this was actually reported in Africa the fact that we still have these big numbers of people dying is completely unacceptable. Sometimes this fever in kids is really bad. It just goes so high in a matter of hours. If left untreated at this point, then there's chances of severe or complicated malaria. It goes into convulsions and even coma and ultimately death. Access to healthcare in Uganda is limited, but for you to access appropriate healthcare, you actually have to pay for the services. And if you can't afford to pay, you won't get the appropriate treatment. It's such a saddening situation to see kids suffering or dying of malaria, given that it's really preventable. Michael comes down to Uganda and he's looking for a place to do field trials for a vaccine that they were developing at Griffith University. To be honest, it wasn't until he came in that I started to look him up. And just typing in the name Michael Good, then you see how much he's done. I was just like, this is the guy I need to work with because he's the best in the field. Vaccines are just basically what will just end it. You won't have to look for treatment. You just know you get your shots and you're sorted. If we, for example, develop a vaccine and that gets easily integrated into the Ministry of Health schedules, then it will be like ending polio or ending measles. Being part of a team that works on a successful vaccine that ultimately given to people would be, would be my life. I don't know what to say, but I would feel like I'm fully accomplished, you know.